Hi everyone, this is Extremer J and today I'll do a flight review of JJR CS26. Sorry to the viewers who were waiting for the flight review. I couldn't do it because of extreme weather conditions here. Currently it's still overcast, cloudy and a bit of drizzling just started. But I'm gonna give it a try and do some flight review. Uh, the, it, the wind is 7 miles per hour uh, north and it's uh, the weather is uh, temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit so let's go ahead and do some flight for JJRC S26 W drone it comes with uh, this uh, camera which uh, has a uh, adjustable gimbal which uh, does uh, rotate uh, vertically and horizontally uh, using a remote controls I'll just switch on the drone the moment you switch on these tiny beautiful LEDs lit up and your drone really looks uh, very flashy. I'll show you how the camera moves. So if you uh, move this stair, these buttons, see this camera is rotating. So this is the rightmost position of the camera and this is the leftmost position of the camera. That's how it works and the other button to make it move vertically Oops. sorry about that this is the this is the lowest the camera points to see and this is the highest position okay so it got stuck somewhere let's move it okay and this is the topmost position of the camera so it can point straight ahead and this is the lowest so there is an angle of around almost 80 degrees downwards so I'll just put it here <coughs> and I have installed this application on my draw on my Android device uh, this application is called Wi-Fi UFO you can download it from Play Store just need to start this application but first before that you need to connect your phone to the Wi-Fi of the camera so go into wireless settings and look up for uh, this Wi-Fi UFO connection and connect your um, phone to it once the phone is connected you can just uh, open the application and you will immediately click on display and you will see the camera uh, view on your screen there are few controls on the application they don't really do much so just the two buttons one is for photos and the other one for uh, videos are the most useful ones so to start the video you can just click on this button and the video will start you will see a small timer here which will show the amount of video you have recorded I'll switch on the controller now and you just need to move the throttle stick once and your drone is connected these two buttons on the left side below the throttle stick are the ones to control the camera so you can move the camera left right using these buttons and you can move it up and down using these two buttons the ones on the right side are the trim buttons as usual the one at the top uh, right side is the one if you press it once drone will go into headless mode and if you press it like long keep it long pressed the drone will uh, come back to the return to home position the one button on the top right uh, left side is the one for uh, controlling video and photo and the one on the right side is the one for doing some stunts so let's go ahead and take it for a flight Okay, so the drone is up in the air, you can see in the camera, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see but there is the live streaming coming on to the phone, there is uh, this wind, the drone is trying to fight the wind, it, has, it is quite stable, the drone size is good, the props are really 
uh, as uh, you can compare it with them compare them to MGX X101 that's exactly the same size I'll uh, change the camera position you see the camera is at the topmost vertically the drone is good in terms of fighting wind and there's a drizzling just started just started so this these are really extreme conditions for you to fly a quad in and I must say this is a real testing of this drone so I'll just take it forward because the wind is coming against the drone it's the wind is facing me so I'll just take it forward now it's doing pretty good so far camera feature I like the camera feature you can actually uh, move the camera in the air and uh, take pictures around so if you see when I move the camera uh, using these buttons you, the camera is actually rotating from left to right the camera quality is somehow not so good if you compare it with uh, Saima X5C both quads have 2 megapixel camera but the camera quality I really like on the Saima this one is uh, still just okay comparing that uh, considering that this video is directly coming to your phone memory so there has to be I mean there there is some kind of a loss video loss while the video is getting transmitted and getting saved onto your phone memory uh, <clears throat> all right so this drone is pretty good it flies uh, really nice fighting wind and the rain uh, Let's see how, if I move the camera to the bottom most position, how, uh, what, what type of a view I get. So this, currently the camera position is at the, uh, it's at the lowest, couldn't go any lower and this is really good. I just rotating the camera and still going good drone is stable uh, camera moving up this is the topmost position now it's moving down and this is still fighting so the video is now stuck and I think quad is just uh, almost 30-40 uh, meters away from the transmitter let's bring it back and see if it gets connected because I lost the video transmission okay now it's back videos back so there is some uh, there was a connectivity problem the moment the quad goes to a distance of 30 40 meters let's test uh, uh, headless mode so I'll press this button once this drone is in headless mode okay it's flying in some other direction this is headless mode it's working uh, to some extent it's working okay see the drone is quad is rolling and it's uh, moving forward and it's moving backward I think the sensitivity is quite low what I can do here is uh, change the sensitivity to higher rates but first let's try the uh, return to home button so I'll press this button long press for a few seconds and it will start coming back so this quad is coming back okay it's going some other direction so I'll just pull it towards myself and it's good now let's try it once again drone in headless mode I'll press the return button once starts going in some direction I'll just try to bring it back now okay come back okay it's coming back let's bring it back and try to change uh, 
Okay, it's coming back. Let's bring it back and just try to change the rates and fly it again. Okay. Uh, till now, the time is almost 7 minutes. So we already got 7 minutes of flight time. And the battery is still going good. The, uh, I have a spare battery. If this goes out of juice, I can try it and continue my review. So what I can do is try change the uh, flying rates. This button here. Okay, so if you press it once, you hear the beep sound and the amount of beeps you hear uh, tells you the flying rate. This is one, this is two, this is the highest flying rate. So let's fly in this mode and see how the sensitivity goes. Okay, so this is really nice sensitivity. One thing I noticed, it's still in headless mode. So let's bring it out of headless mode. I press it once, it's out of headless mode. Ah, uh, let's take it to the sky again. Perfect. So now the sensitivity is really nice. And what I'll do is, I'll take the drone. Let's do some, uh, how high can it go? So I'm taking the drone higher. I just don't want to risk it because there are some, the conditions are not so good. So it's going high the camera view is pretty nice I'm rotating the camera left right okay so the view is good I'll check the video resolution later when I transfer it to my computer and We'll see how it goes so the battery life is uh, I must say it's really good we almost got a flight time of nine minutes okay and the drone just came back to the ground so now the battery ran out of juice it's almost nine minutes so we got a nine minutes of flight time on full battery charge with camera completely on and doing headless and one key return features Okay folks, what I'll do now is uh, I have a spare battery from MGX X101. They both have uh, they both have different connectors, but they can they still do work with this quad. So I'll change the battery and So you have to unscrew the this thing, the battery container uh, lid and take out the battery. So this is the battery from X101 and this one is from S26W and the depths are different between both connectors but they still can plug plug in to this quad. So this connector goes in this quad like this and it does work pretty fine so you can just put the battery back in this put on the this lid and use this screwdriver provided by them it's done you can see the LED lights these LED lights are definitely they're gonna look really beautiful when you're flying on night time So this was about the flight review of this quad 
I must say the squad is really it's a good beginner card and uh, for people who are looking to try quads with some gimbal and camera this is a good quad uh, in that price range of 80 bucks but if you compare it with MGX X101 I must say MGX X101 wins all hands that's it the flight review from my side guys if you have any questions please post and comment on the below comment sections thanks for watching have a great day bye bye